All right, folks, so in this video, I wanted to explain to you the procedure that you're going to use to determine the density of an object from your house, of your choosing, that has some sort of a regular shape. In our last video, I went through how to determine the density of an object of a regular shape using what we call Archimedes' principle or the volume displacement method. So for this uh, portion of the lab, the things you're going to need is you're going to need a measuring bowl or cup. So this is a fairly large one. You don't need one quite this big, but decent size object. I'm sorry, a decent size measuring cup. You're going to need to choose an object from your house that's of irregular shape that will fit inside of the bowl. So I have a fairly large bowl, so I, I chose as my object this bobblehead of Paul Goldschmidt when he played for the Diamondbacks. And then the other thing you're going to need is some water, of course a calculator, and then a scale. Now, the measuring bowl, the water, and the object, I'm sure you probably have at home. The scale might be a little bit more difficult to find. If you don't have a scale, that's okay. The scale you can use is if you go to your grocery store, you can take your object and weigh it using one of the scales they have in the produce section, or you can take your object to one of the postal places, like the UPS store, for example, and, and if you ask them, they'll put it on the scale and they'll measure it for you. Now. For this uh, particular exercise, we want to calculate our densities in grams per milliliter. So just be aware, if you measure your object on a scale that weighs in ounces, for example, you're going to have to convert uh, ounces into grams. So just remember your metric conversions there. So what I need then is, again, a large measuring bowl. I'm going to fill it with water. I need my object in a scale. So I'm going to take my object, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to weigh it. I want to know how much it weighs or what its mass is. So I'm going to turn my scale on here, make sure it's zeroed, which it is. And then I'm going to place my object on the balance and I'm going to measure its mass. And the mass of this small little statue, which I'm going to record on my paper here, is 115 grams. So remember, if you're converting from, metri sorry, from English to metric, uh, one of the conversions that will be helpful for you, again, if you, weigh, if you weigh your object in ounces, remember that there are 2.2 pounds for every kilogram, and then remember that there are 16 ounces per pound. So that will kind of help you. So if you measured out at, say, 16 ounces, you could use your conversions to convert that to grams. My scale is nice. It automatically measures for me in grams. Again, my object weighs 115 grams. All right, now I need to take my measuring bowl and I need to fill it up part way with water. And I don't want to fill it up all the way, so I fill it up all the way and I put my object in, the water's going to overflow. So I'm going to fill it up part way. And once I fill it up, I want to go ahead and look at the markings on the side of my measuring cup and figure out what is the volume of the water before I place the object in. And as I look at my measuring cup right now, my measuring cup indicates that currently the water level is at 1,500 milliliters or 1,500 milliliters. So I'm going to go ahead and write that down. So that's my volume before adding my object in. Now, I'm going to take my object and I'm going to go ahead and place it in the liquid. I want to do it carefully so I don't get a bunch of water splashing out. I'm going to place it in there. It's going to sink to the bottom. All right. I'm going to kind of wait for some of those little waves and things to kind of even out. And now I want to go ahead and read how high the water rose up after I placed the object in there. And it looks like it rose to about 1,500 and, looks like maybe 1,570 milliliters. So the new level is 1,570 milliliters. Now, to figure out the volume of the statue itself, I take the new volume, 1,570 milliliters, and I subtract the volume of the water by itself, which, if you remember, I said was 1,500 milliliters. So if I take 1,570 milliliters and I minus 1,500 milliliters, then that leaves 70 milliliters. So that means then that this object, its volume, is 70 milliliters. Or you could say it's 70 cubic centimeters. That's the same thing. So 70 milliliters. We're going to leave it in milliliters because remember, again, we want to measure our densities in grams per milliliter. So now I have the two values I need to calculate the density of this little statue. So again, what are the two values I need? I need this mass and I need its volume. So density, if I go to do my calculation, density, lowercase d, equals mass in grams divided by volume in milliliters. 
Remember before when I weighed our little statue, it weighed 115 grams, so that's my mass, and I need to divide that number by my volume, which I just figured out using the volume displacement method or Archimedes principle. I determined that the volume of that statue was 70 milliliters, so if I take my mass, 115, and then divide it by my volume, which was 70, then I get a density of 1.64 grams per milliliter. Right? If you remember in our earlier video, I said that the density of water was 1 gram per milliliter. So this statue is denser than water at 1.64 grams per milliliter, which makes sense because as I put the object in water, notice it didn't float. It actually did what? It actually sank. Because the statue is denser than water, it actually sank. If the density of the object was less than water, it would have floated up on top. All right, so what you need to do then for, your part, for this part of the lab on density is, again, you need to fill up a container part way that has markings on it, like a measuring cup. You need to measure an object, whatever it is. It could be an apple. could be a can of soda. So you're going to weigh it, right? Weigh it in grams. Write that down. Fill up a container with some liquid. Place the object in the liquid. See how much water is displaced. That's going to give you the volume of the object. And then you're going to calculate the density by taking the mass and then divide it by the volume. 